Testing, testing. Hello, folks. I will introduce to you now the Zoom H6 Pandy recorder, which is practically a field recorder that is recording six tracks to left and right for the build um, for the connectable uh, Zoom microphones that are connectable with this port here. And for other sound sources, microphones or line sources fed into the four inputs and they have an, they can be adjusted, leveled with these level <coughs> with these gain controls here. So and there is a pad for the external sources, so uh, 0 or minus 20 dB. Okay, uh, but I will not introduce the whole unit to you now. I am focusing only on a few points that I think uh, they are worth mentioning and people might not know them and uh, most people are not aware of that. At least I wasn't when I bought it. So, this is that I power fire it on now. First thing is, I was desperately, when, when I bought it, when I had the first day here, I was desperately looking for the feature how to connect these inputs as stereo inputs that they are not recorded as single or uh, mono uh, when uh, audio files, but as uh, interleaved stereo files. And I was looking to the menu and I was not finding any feature like that. So I was really desperate. And it's very easy. So you connect them. I don't know if you see it here. If the display is now. This play is clear here. You connect them and uh, when you press both both of these buttons, they are connected now. And you release them, pressing the two um, channels again. So here, so now these are connected, and now, oops, uh, these are disconnected now. That's very easy. It's too easy to find out by yourself. All right, this is one thing. <clears throat> and the other thing is that this, that's the reason why I took this microphone now. This is uh, a so-called MS stereophonic microphone capsule. That means that it, it is not, uh, normally when you record stereo, file, uh, stereo uh, when uh, you normally make stereo recordings with two identical microphones, so one for left, one for right, so either Omni or cardi Cardioid or Super Cardioid or what, whatsoever. But um, the combination in MS stereo, um, uh, in, in the combination in MS stereo is that you take a cardioid microphone plus a figure of eight microphone. The cardioid uh, picks up the sound uh, in, in, of the center that should be uh, quite pure without any, not without, but, but little room uh, with little ambient noise and um, uh, Room uh, reverberation, reverberate a little, um, little room and ambience reverberation, <clears throat> and the side, and the figure of eight is directed to the sides and is picking up more the ambient sound. So, in when you record recording it for specially used for uh, how you call for filmmaking is um, the advantage of this. Um, method is that you you are able to adjust um, the room um, 
the amount of room in, in, the, in your stereo file and uh, the amount of room in your recording after the trick with this uh, the point in this um, recording technique is that after you, you can after having recorded you can um, you can adjust um, the room uh, the amount of room signal <coughs> You can uh, determine the, the amount of room signal after the recording. The special issue with the zoom recorder now is that it picks up MS, um, MS but it is encoding the signal as a stereo signal. So you are not able after the you're not after the recording you are not able to adjust the amount of space or room you want to have in this recording it is fixed and you have to do it before or before you are while you are recording and it is not so you can here you can adjust the side signal which is the room signal the figure of eight the the, the amount of figure of eight signal you have but it, that's not very practical and recording because after you've recorded everything is fixed you cannot change anything anymore without electronic tricks you always have. So, and I was asking uh, my shop, uh, um, the guy, my dealer, uh, um, if that was adjustable, but um, he said, no, no, it's not. Uh, this it is encoded and it's a stereo recording. You cannot change it. Then I uh, contacted the Zoom hotline and they, know better or knew better <clears throat> and um, the, but the procedure is quite complicated so uh, all right you go into the menu yes to the menu here you go to ms can you say see that over here you to the menu and go to ms monitor yeah. push the button and you switch it to raw yeah that's what i've done also after having read the menu but still it is encoded so i said jesus christ what kind of uh, are they kidding or what, uh, what what kind of thing is this um the trick is that you also have and that's quite not so easy to understand you also have to Go um, to to um, uh, you also have to increase the the volume of the MS signal since you come to raw, and now it is now the recording is side signal. This is this, and center signal. This is this. This is the left one here. Or oh, it is here. I don't know. Well, it's a little bit hard to <coughs> demonstrate now, but now the left rec uh, left channel record rec uh, the left channel records the the center signal, and the right channel is recording the um, figure of eight signal. And after, but but you have to have a software like WaveLab or something that is able to encode um, uh, the MS signal <coughs> uh, to. Uh, stereo normal stereo file that uh, sh you have to be, do that after uh, <laughs> post recording so zoom is doing it before <laughs> or while <laughs> recording so it's easier to handle but it's not as practical yeah for special things so this is one thing all well, these are two things <sighs> yeah um, um, I'm using this recorder. It's another thing also. I'm using this recorder a lot for not only for, for field recording. So this is designed for field recording. So you you um you can record up to six tracks simultaneously at once. Yeah. Um, but you can use it also as a multi-tracker. So as a multi-tracker it is 
So you record, for instance, a guitar and then another guitar and then uh, you sing on it and then special effects or backing vocals or whatsoever. So one after the other. The problem then is that this is this mode is not accessible here. There's no knob here on the front panel or side panels. You could have to, to enable this mode you have to go deep into the menu structure. So I'll show you. You go here into the menu, you push the press the menu button. So it is up, you press the menu button, then you go down to where is it? Uh, Jesus Christ. Project manager. Um, it, you go here to you see that? See that? Okay, all right. You see that? You go to overdub and then press it, and then you are on overdub mode. And you have to do this operation every time <coughs> you want to leave the simultaneous six track mode to overdub mode. Once you enter it, you can overdub one, you can recall one track by uh, track by track by another track, but when you have recorded a track and you want to add another track, you have to go into this um, special menu to enable the, the overdub mode. That is a little bit uh, a little bit complicated, but this one is not designed originally as a multi-track recorder, so it's quite, um, it's merely logical. And I think Zoom will not, uh, doesn't, has no intention to make competition to their own product products like the R8 or R16 or R24 multi-track recorders. I have to, there's one other issue. This is a six track recorder, right? But you cannot use these two tracks here um, for you can use these two tracks only for recordings with either the mics or the 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 uh, optional input you buy when you don't enter the machine by these on on this way you cannot access these two tracks the same as with these tracks these you can access Track one record on track one only with uh, the in uh, with the input of track one and two only with the input of track two and so on. So there is no routing. This is not a multi-track recorder, so there is no routing in this machine. This is um, you have to pay attention to that because you might forget. And I I was thinking um, before I bought it I but before I had it I thought there was a routing uh, uh, there would be a routing I thought there would be a routing possibility but there it isn't <laughs> the case <laughs> I don't want to be misunderstood this is a very well built recorder I will keep it so there's nothing um, it won't go. I will, will not let it go. It's very compact. It's well, well built. But according to your needs, if you have special needs, it is might be a little bit awkward, yeah, because it's not a multi-tracker and it's the MS thing is a little bit strange, yeah. So, but it's a nice machine. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Folks, and this was the first recording I made directly into the camera. I think the sound is not as well as if I had recorded it on an external machine, on this one, for instance. Next time I'm recorded on this one. All right. See you.